So my day typically starts uh, a little before 5 a.m. and I uh, get up and have a cup of coffee and read or uh, plan the day and then I head down to the barn and uh, to milk the cow. To get ready I, uh, I get a little uh, jug of hot water and all the milking supplies and I carry them down to the barn and then I get uh, Betty, our milk cow, into the stanchion and get her some feed. and then I uh, make sure that her udder is really clean. So it probably takes, I don't know, probably a good 10 minutes to uh, make sure that she's good and clean. And um, then I uh, get a little uh, board that I have that I keep clean. And I set the milk buckets down on the board, and then I have one bucket that I milk into. And I get all that set up, and I give Betty some more feed, and then start milking. Okay, <laughs> okay, Betty. Um, well, I like that we have good raw milk that is A2, A2, and it's easily digestible, and I have always been very sensitive to dairy, and in fact, before, um, before, like many months before Betty was in milk again, I cut out all dairy from my diet, uh, because I was having so much trouble digesting it during pregnancy especially and um, then when she was in milk I started drinking milk again like drinking glasses of milk and using the milk in everything else and cream in the coffee and everything and I feel great I've never been able to digest milk like this before and not be so sensitive to it so um, that's proof to me that raw milk is the way to go so what's your favorite product of having a, a dairy cow Ooh. I said you said butter mm -hmm. um yeah the butter's really good it takes a lot of cream to make the butter i just like the cream in my coffee i don't think I, I mean i don't have coffee that good anywhere else or <laughs> you know except with the cream from the cow so yeah so would you say it's worth it to have a cow well I'm not the one milking so that would be a question for you because oh. you do all the hard work I just process the milk I just you know filter the milk we don't process it but um, but yeah I mean I think I mean I think you would say so, the same thing so, so we feed her uh, a little bit of a little bit of alfalfa every day with some um, minerals. This is RC Gold, which has lots of vitamins and uh, healthy bacteria. Oh. Almost forgot, Betty. from Desiring God Ministries is available at www.desiringgod.org. I invite you to take your Bibles or one from me. Yeah, how old is she? Why are you going to ask me that? <laughs> because <laughs> I don't so know.
Okay. What should we ask Daddy? What's your favorite product from Betty? Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. Or you want to say something else? Yeah. My favorite, my favorite dairy product? Yes. Yogurt. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Daddy loves the yogurt. Yes. I get, I get to eat a gallon of yogurt a day. Me <laughs> too. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Travis loves mm. yogurt, too. He eats a lot. It's very good. Or a tiny. Yeah. Or what? strawberry jam. <gasps> or, yeah, or ice cream. Yeah. What's the hardest thing about milking the goat? I mean, milking the cow. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest thing about milking the cow? Yeah. That's a big goat. Probably um, <laughs> keeping everything clean. Like, you know, she's an animal, and so she poops and pees, and, you know, it just makes a mess. And so probably keeping her clean. Keeping the barn clean, keeping the stanchion clean, keeping her clean, re-cleaning, you know, during milking, that kind of thing. And then, you know, your hands get tired sometimes. Did you say keeping the cow or milking the cow? <coughs> I think you said milking. Yeah, you said yeah. milking. Yeah. I, I guess I'm just, uh, I don't know, kind of OCD about keeping stuff clean, and so that makes it, that makes it hard. Yeah. That's good, though. Yeah. I know it's in, I know it's important. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, usually get anywhere from a gallon and a half to three gallons, and um, about usually after the first gallon, um, I have to let the calf in. Um, cows typically hold back their milk um, for the calf. But if you let the calf in and let him nurse for just a minute or so, she will let down the rest of her milk. And then I uh, pull the calf away and put him in a stall and then continue milking. And then I bring the milk to the house and we filter the milk and put it right into the refrigerator to chill it as fast as possible. And then I go back and get the cow and either take her to her own uh, paddock for the day or I take her and put her with the rest of the cows. Uh, we move our cows every day to a fresh paddock and so they get new grass either once or twice a day typically. So then in the afternoon typically around four o'clock, four to five o'clock, maybe a little later depending on what we've got going on, uh, I go get the cow because we want to separate the calf at night so that her milk supply builds up for us to milk in the morning and so I go get the cow and the calf and bring them both to the barn uh, which is it can be the hardest part getting the calf to come and go where I want him to go uh, it's usually a family affair to either catch the calf and lead him to the barn or uh, try to surround him and make him go into the barn and get him into his own stall and then I give them both feed and water and uh, yeah, lock them into the barn at night, and that way they'll be ready for us in the morning. And they'll be clean and dry, ready, uh, in case it rains. Um. So, be, you know, being tied down to the house part, mm -hmm. and not, you know, when you have a dairy cow, you have to be here. Yeah. Is that part worth it? Is it worth having a cow and have to be tied down to the house? Yeah, I think... I think we talked about this in another video too. I think when we, when she was in milk last year, it was harder because we didn't have a calf with her. It's easy for you to say. What does that mean? You, you don't handle you the calf. To, you haven't had to handle the calf. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the calf is adorable though. I'm the one handling the calf. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is, last year we were s certainly tied down to the cow because she did not have a calf with her, so we had to milk her twice a day, and um, and we could not go anywhere. We actually we went somewhere last summer and had to have a friend come and milk her but for we us. Had a lot of cream last year. Yeah, we did get more cream. That's true. We did get more cream last year without a calf, but. Um, but I think Adam and Sydney are figuring out how to get more cream <laughs> now. Um, but yeah, now that we have a calf with her, I think it's much easier to say, well, we can't, we're just not going to milk her tonight and let the calf stay on her so she won't be miserable. Yeah. And um, 
So I think that's definitely the way to go if you're buying a milk cow. Yeah. Make sure you get a calf if you're not wanting to be tied down twice a day to milk or whatever. So we've done that once so far in a month, haven't we? Yeah. Not milked one time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we hadn't had to. I mean, obviously, we're, nobody's going anywhere much right now, but we haven't <coughs> had to go anywhere or be somewhere so that we couldn't milk. Um, but yeah, we just y'all took one one day off, I think, and um, and didn't milk. But yeah. So how much milk do you get? Um, usually at least two gallons a day. It's usually it's average. What would you say average would be? I bet I would say two and a quarter, maybe mm -hmm. gallons a day on average. Sometimes it's two and a half. This morning it was three and a quarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so probably what, 16 gallons a week. <coughs> yeah. At That's least. A ton of yeah. Milk, huh? Yeah. What else? What else we got for daddy? Um, how old is the house? No, Travis. The um, what's your favorite thing about having her? She's a giver. Definitely a giver. It's amazing what the benefits of having a cow. You know, we get the milk, we get uh, cream, we get. Um, the manure for fertilized. I mean, she weed eats for me, which I hate weed eating. And so there's so many benefits. We feed our neighbors, we feed other animals. I mean, we, unfortunately we lost what, like 15 gallons of milk this week? Yeah. Because our fridge went out, yeah. but we didn't actually lose it. Yeah. It, uh, it just went bad. We fed the pigs, we fed the chickens, we fed the garden, we fed the compost pile, we fed, what else? I don't know, we fed everything with that. So. She's a giver. It's amazing. We're growing our, we're growing our garden. We're growing our um, our beef, and we're getting milk. And she's mowing our grass. And I don't know what else. And she's making some plants. Yep, she's growing our plants, isn't she? Yep. Yeah. Making bacon for us. Yep. Bacon. Yeah, the pigs are eating. The pigs are eating the milk. Mm-hmm. Growing your kids. Yep. <laughs> right now? Can you drink that whole thing without stopping? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. I don't think you can. <laughs> Travis, give me my daddy. Travis is already starting. Wait, 20 seconds. Okay. It's <laughs> a good time. <laughs> I'm done. Done. Good job. And Betty Butter and. Betty Butter. Yeah. What's Betty Butter? Bay butter? Yeah. It's from Betty. Oh. Who's Betty? The cow. The cow. I'm done. I'm <coughs> done. So what's what's one thing that's your favorite part about having the cow? Like we um Just have, one thing. Um like the milk. The milk. Yeah. Drinking the milk. Mm-hmm. Awesome. What's your favorite part about having the cow? Because she produces a lot of milk for us. Yeah. Was it hard to get used to drinking milk from Betty rather than store milk? Yeah. Was it? Why was it hard? Because I wasn't used to it. Oh, it tasted a little different? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I just have one question for you. Okay. Why haven't you been getting up early to milk the cow anymore? <laughs> because you don't wake me up. I I got up at six o'clock this morning, but I kidding. I didn't come outside. <coughs> I'm just kidding with you. I know. <laughs> so what do you think about the cow? Uh. Is it worth having a milk cow? Definitely. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Cause she she like does everything for us. She she feeds us. She feeds all the animals. She feed or she. Um, she makes money, and she, what else does she do? What else do you want to say about the cow? Um, <coughs> she's nice and she's... She's not nice to Sydney. <laughs> she's <laughs> kind of mean to me because I'm the one handling the cow. Yeah. She's <laughs> she doesn't like that. She's kind of, she's good to be led by you. Yeah. And even when you're not leading her, she just follows you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
that's funny. Or go like, you by could just herself. let down her, or you could just put her rope down. She'll just still think she's on a leash. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sydney, what's your favorite part about, I mean, what is your favorite product? Is it milk? Is it something else? What's your favorite product from having a dairy cow? Probably butter. Butter? Butter. Nice. All right, guys. Mm -hmm.